Okay, so what I thought I would do here to begin with, just to go through what DAX is and why you need to learn it, is to just show you some examples of what you can achieve if you implement DAX well in Power BI. So what I've got here is I've got, uh, and this is in your resource pack, uh, I've got uh, an, an, some analysis here of sales across a range of different uh, metrics within our business and I've broken it down um, into different areas on the east coast of the US. And so what I can do here is I can click between different time frames. So what I've got in the background is I've set up, okay, I can go seven days, 14 days, 30 days, 90 days, and it's all dynamic, right? I can very quickly click on a specific time frame and then see what details um, I might want to see in that specific time frame. I can also jump between profits and revenue as easy as that, right? I can just click between those two different metrics. So think about how much we're showcasing in just this one report page. It's amazing, right? Now, to achieve something like this, requires a thorough understanding of how DAX operates inside of Power BI. There's basically just no way around it, okay? And maybe you've heard me say this before, but basically DAX is the real analytical power that sits in behind Power BI. You know, if you're not utilizing DAX well inside of Power BI, you're missing maybe 90% of its analytical potential. That's how important it is and how um, much further you can take your analysis than maybe you've even dreamt of. So basically that's, you know, the key. That's one of the sort of the key things I want to um, get get into your mind early on is just how important DAX is. And, you know, throughout this particular course and beyond, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll put a, a greater focus and greater weight on it than maybe you had has, um, maybe right now or maybe what you have thought historically. Okay, and so, you know, you can um, start really simple with DAX, and I'm really big with that, and you can move into more advanced calculations pretty quickly if you really understand those fundamental things well, okay? And I thought I'd give another example just so we can dive into it a bit more. So here's something completely different. Um, so we're looking at some customer analytics, and um, what DAX is doing is it's dynamically updating our, our analysis based on you know, what selections we are making. Now, it all works in with the data model as well. The data model is very important, um, but these DAX calculations, um, are these the, the, the formula that we need to write is what enables us to do this in a really scalable way. So what, what happens is we can write relatively straightforward formulas based on the enormous amount of insights that we can generate because of the way that DAX works in with the rest of our model and the rest of our tables that we that we have in our data model. And so this dynamic filtering, you know, what's sitting behind here is nothing too extravagant. There's not hundreds of lines of code. It's just about understanding how to construct the right formula or formula combination to be able to enable these dynamic insights. And you'll see here on the right hand side, you know, we've got these measure groups, which is, we'll review how to do this again. Um, I did go over this within the um, within the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Power BI, but I'll review it again because it's quite an important feature around organization. But you'll see here that we have a lot of measures. You can create a lot of measures. I mean, I would say, you know, creating 40 or 50 measures within a, a, a pretty average model is pretty common, is common. Okay, it's not... Um, you know, you can very quickly, if you utilize the techniques that I show you, build out your, your models and your analysis to, and, and have that many measures e easily. Sometimes you can have more. I mean, I, without a doubt, I've had a couple of models with well over 100. Um, and all of them could be used at some for some piece of analysis. They're all, um, they're all worthy of, you know, good insights. Yeah, and some are, you know, starting, starting easy and obviously some are, some are more, more advanced analytics. Okay, so that's about 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 me. And look, I just want hopefully I can get you, you know, excited about you know what you can achieve with DAX as well. You know that's what this um, course and a lot of my content is all about. Like I like to really um, showcase good things to you that you might not be achievable right now, but certainly something to look forward to and something to try and look um, look towards. You know to get your abilities up to that level. Okay.
So you should have access to both of these ones. So definitely have a play around, have a look at some of the um, formulas, look at how they've been constructed, etc. cetera. Um, you know, you'll, get, you'll benefit a lot out of sort of seeing underneath the hood. Um, you know, and throughout this course, you know, we're really going to dive into you know, some of the sort of fundamental techniques and fundamental features around utilizing DAX and Power BI that will, in, in, in a big way, enable you to get to this level quite quickly. Okay, so let's round this off and move on to the next one.